we ask that our glory and our adoration be ascribed unto your name. Thank you for being this evening. Let your name alone be glorified forever. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Want to greet, want to greet all our leaders uh, on the platform tonight. Good evening, sir. Happy Sunday. You on the platform for tonight, Pastor's prayer, and we trust the Lord that as we pray, uh, I will just be very, very direct with my prayer tonight. Just lead for about thirty minutes, and uh, hand over to Pastor Shebu. But uh, my focus tonight is basically on two things. Number one. We'll be praying for the church at Charlotte and the souls and the harvest and the rest. The work of God is not child's play. And they will be praying on the YouTube channel of Pastor Matthew Akamu. The YouTube is blessing many lives all over the world. And if people of the world are using their YouTube channel to propagate gospel for Satan and they propagate gospel for their own, kingdoms and all of that and they do all kinds of marketing all kinds of you know marketing on it and people get to know about that if we cannot do such then we can back it up very seriously in the place of prayer yes we have to also make it known to people but aside that god himself can amplify it and so we're praying for the youtube channel even tonight and then lastly we shall be praying for all our leaders. Some of our leaders are going through some things, and we are trusting God as we call upon God on their behalf. The Lord, we intervene in what they are going through in Jesus' name. At this time, we want to begin to give thanks to God. Let's begin to worship Him. Let's begin to glorify His holy name. Let's begin to praise Him. Let's begin to adore him. Open your mouth and worship the name of the Lord. Let's open our mouth. Let's be giving thanks to God. Let's worship him. Let's praise him. Let's honor him. Let's exalt him. Glorify the Lord. We are expressing our deep and our profound gratitude unto God. We are expressing our deep and our profound gratitude unto the Lord. Yes, God's mercy remains. God's mercy endure it forever. God has done it. God has done it. God has done it. Reflect on what God has done for you. Reflect on what God has done in your life. Reflect on what God has done for your family. Think over the good things. Think over the positive things. Think over the glorious things. Think over the testimony and worship Him. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Uh, tonight, we'll be looking at scripture in Job chapter, Job chapter 
chapter 22. Job 22. I read from verse 27. And thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee. Amen. And thou shalt pay thy vows. Yes, that's what scripture says there. Verse 28. And thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. The Bible says, and thou shalt also decree a thing. And it shall be established unto thee. And then the light will begin to shine on our ways. I'm reading from John 14. In John chapter 14. I'm waiting for best of 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 that the Father may be glorified in the Son. In verse 14, if you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Tonight, we are beginning with the church at Charlotte. I want to pray right now, first and foremost, that the Lord will open doors of evangelization of the people the lord will open doors of evangelization of the people god will open doors of evangelization of the people shall we pray let's talk to god in prayer please pray please pray The men and the women, the boys and the girls, the right, Lord will read. The balance came, Father God, I am asking, oh God, Lord, please open the door of evangelization, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Right, oh God, everlasting Father, oh God, Lord, we pray that let there, there be a divine intervention concerning Charlotte Church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, yes. everlasting God, we need your divine intervention. Amen. Amen. Every territory has a point. I'm going to explain my point using these two cases. Case number one. Many, many years ago, in a particular country abroad, uh, according to the GF, the people were organized for gun, or the people were, they were not just going to church. The people were probably asking because. <laughs> The churches came together. Please, can you mute yourself? Okay. So the churches came together and then wanted to see what could be the reason. So they began to pray. Eventually, the Lord revealed to one of them. And they saw that the people were, of course, it was a very serious bondage in that community. And thank God for how they engaged in prayer. And that's how they broke that bondage. They destroyed that demon, that power holding the people captive and that was how revival broke and the people began to come to church and uh, in another is uh, instance as we were told you will find out that some of every territory has power holding the community 
And sometimes, as we point to a point, we begin to reveal the code. And so we're going to pray. The code. The code to capture the soul. The code to capture the soul in charity. As many laborers God will send there, God will reveal, God will show to them the call to capture those souls. The call to capture those souls. That God will lead his servant, Pastor Matthew, and his team members. They soul will be captured for Jesus. They will be captured for Jesus. Amen. They will be captured for Jesus. Amen. They will be captured for Jesus. Shall we pray? Amen. Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, our great God, we look unto you concerning the situation of the church, Deeper Light Bible Church in Charlotte. God, you are the one that owns your church, O oh God, not man. Lord, you can bring an increase, O oh God, into that church by your power. Wait, Almighty let's... God, everlasting Father, God, Lord, I pray that you begin to arrange the heart of men. You begin to arrange the soul of men unto salvation by the power of your spirit, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All the forces and the powers militating against the conversion of the people. Lord, arise, O God, tonight by the authority of the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Ghost, arise the power. Every demonic power in charity, every kind of territorial power, every gang up against the fruitfulness of the church at charity. Let the Lord bury those tonight. Let the Lord bury those powers tonight. Charlotte Almighty God, everlasting Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God. Every power, oh God, is within and without all the territorial forces, powers of darkness that have been militating against the advancement of your kingdom, that have been fighting against the growth of the church, whether spiritual or physical growth, oh Lord. Almighty God, arise, oh God, by the power of your spirit, oh God, overthrow all those satanic forces, oh God. All it's those principalities, mind. all the powers of darkness, all the gates of hell, fighting against the church, oh Lord, silence them by your power in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It's a prayer that the Lord will give us servants the call to penetrate into that place. And every power that wants Amen. to stand at the table, the Lord destroy them tonight. The Lord subdue them tonight. And the Lord paralyze those Amen. powers tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we're going to pray too. Yes, I understand that there is what we call monetization of the YouTube. And that's even one side of it, but that's not even the goal here. The goal here is the evangelization of the people. You cannot tell how many lives will be forever transformed as they listen to a message and as they listen to an audio or video or whatever a material on the YouTube. And the pastor may not even be able to account for those two until we get to heaven and we begin to receive our reward. And then you realize that even the gadgets you put in place and the machinery you put in place are getting souls converted. We are going to pray on the YouTube channel. To start with, by the grace of God, that YouTube channel will go in a sporadic manner. It will go in a supernatural manner. It will go in an extraordinary way. Supernaturally, it will go. Extraordinarily, it will go. In case some of our people have not subscribed, they will start subscribing. Everywhere there will be eagerness to subscribe, eagerness to watch, eagerness to check out. We are going to pray that the end of God will be upon that channel. Are you my spoken? Yeah. Is this one? Yes. People go start pursuing 100,000. If we shoot above that, God will surprise him. God will increase him. 
God will increase that YouTube channel. Shall we pray? Mighty God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus, O righteous God. Father God in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, I beseech you, my Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to understand something. As you go to some YouTube channel, there are things you listen to and it will influence you negatively permanently and say God deliver you. And uh, some, with the things they upload on their channel, you know that they are directly working with Satan or working for Satan or they are enemies of Satan or agent of darkness to pollute the life of young people. And just as I, I, I said before, we also have people who are set up channels with back life. God is the pastor at Kamoma. The channel will bless life. The channel will transform life. As many that come across that channel, their lives will know no limit. God will turn their lives around. Mm. God will totally. God will transform them permanently. If they come across any issues, as they listen to the message, that channel will become the for every life. Wait. So, uh, Father, will commit. We commit the YouTube into your heart. Give me the body glorification from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Father, it should be for the glory of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Who we do see for the glorification of your name in the name of Jesus Christ. We are we by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. You will use it for the glory of your name in the name of God. You will take total control. King of the you will take total control by the Father. You will take total control. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. The Lord has answered that aspect in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget what we read in Job. I like to read it to us again. Maybe you are not here when I read it. And then I also read the book of Job. In that book of prayer, Job, God said we shall decree a thing and establish unto us. Verse 27 says that we shall make our prayer unto him. Obviously, our prayer is being made unto God and not to any man. We want to pray for angel and a king with me that the Lord God of heaven whatever challenge that, that, that will come their way and break them down spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, the Lord will start convinced. The Lord will prevent such from taking place in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. I like us to know that stress is very real. And you find that that sicknesses that were not known with children in the past, doctors are now diagnosing such among young people. We are going to pray every psychological uh, stress, every emotional stress, every physical stress, every spiritual stress, whatever stress that will impact on them negatively, it will be circumvented, it will be hindered, it will be stopped. In the name of Jesus, God will keep them, God will uphold them, God will preserve them, God will watch over them. They will grow in the way and in the way of the Lord. The influence and the, 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 the culture of the land will not impact on them negatively. The lifestyle of the generality of the people will not impact them, either in school, on the streets, or anywhere. God will insulate them from evil. God will isolate them from evil. They will be insulated from the attack of the enemy. Are we praying? Talking to God in prayer. They will be untouchable, untouchable.
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, we want to do something very carefully in Galatians. I'm reading Galatians. The Lord will keep the children in Jesus' name. We want to pray right now. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 1, where then, uh, no, verse, Galatians 6, verse 2, bear ye one another's body, and so fulfill the law of Christ. We are told here to bear one another's body. We are going to start with Pastor Olabi. We are going to pray for Pastor Olabi that the desires of his heart, according to the will of God, God in heaven will establish it. All the struggle, all the challenges, all the pain, all the misrepresentation, all the soul, let it come to an end. Let the supernatural mm -hmm. hand of God be sitting. Let God lift his wife his tears away. Let God grant his desire. Whatever he has been longing for and he has been delayed, oh God, there will be no delay again. Lord, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, remember, O oh God, O oh be part, never the hands of the Lord. Almighty God, I am asking my Father, God, that to arise and help us, O oh God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father, God, help me in particular, O oh God. Say to me, Jehovah God, O oh God, grant me open door, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, he said, I will open and no man can shut it. Open my eyes, oh God, to opportunities, oh God. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, God, I am asking, oh God, for help. Lord, that to step in into my situation, oh God. By the Spirit and power, my Father, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to pray. What the apostle talked about, how he fought the beast at Ephesus. Pastor Olabi had been a prayer warrior, even while in Marcoco, and the beast of Ephesus must have been fought at different locations and different times. And if you remember what Paul said, he, he made a lot of adversary. You know, people like that, confrontation from every angle. It's like, if we don't catch you here, we catch you here. We are going to pray every hour that want to delay or even that God needed faithful and manifestation. The Bible says the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. God's mm. servant will manifest. God's servant will manifest. God's servant will manifest. Yes, God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Manifest. Oh, dear Father God, I'm asking, oh God, Lord, I am asking my God, Lord, let the goodness be made manifested unto me, oh God, righteous God, even the place where I'm working at the moment, I am not comfortable with it, oh God, almighty God, arise and help me out, oh God of heaven. Lord, I am praying, oh In God, that this intervention of God. Amen. Yeah, sorry, I still want to add one more prayer point on that regard. This was a scripture I read to my guidance yeah. when I was to leave. When I was to leave my guidance house, uh, by then I paid, I paid for my own apartment, and then but. I had already done that, made those things for me, so by the time I wanted to go to them, this was the scripture that I think I remember that time. I don't know if I read it to them anyway. I don't think so. In Genesis chapter 10, verse 30. And it was little down to me before I came. Jacob was talking to Deban here. He said, it was little without us before I came. 
and it is now increased unto a multitude to me because I attach my life to my face. And the Lord has blessed this is my coming. Jacob knew it was a blessing to this man. Look at this now. He now asked a question. Now, when shall I provide for my own household also? What a question. What a question. We are going to pray. God's servants said he wants to establish his own also. This is scripture to me. The God of heaven. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I beseech you, God. That you please establish us, O oh God, establish me, my Father God. Almighty God, everlasting Father, you said, I will instruct you and teach you in the way which thou shalt go. O oh Lord, everlasting Father God, you say, I will guide you with my heart. Write us, God, and ask him, my Father God, that you grant me direction, O oh God. Instruct me, Lord. Almighty God, and Amen. We are going to pray for Pastor Peter. Pastor Peter is always on a journey, on a move. God has been faithful, keeping him in spite of the insecurity in Nigeria. We have no heart. God has been faithful. We want to pray for him, consigning himself, consigning the wife. Concerning the children, many of some of the children are graduates who are going to pray. A window of heaven on behalf of the children, God will expand, God will enlarge, God will open doors for those children. The resources, the investment of those children will not be in vain. Money has been spent, millions have been spent, lives, you know, energy has been spent. He will reap the fruit of his labor. By the power of God, we pray. We reap the fruit of his labor. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the Lord keep him. Let the Lord enlarge his ears. Let the Lord keep the wife. Let the Lord uphold the family. Whatever is their heart desire, may the Lord bring to pass. Shall we pray? Oh, great God, immortal God, everlasting Father God. Oh, dear Father God, help me. Good for my ministry and life. Lord, bless me, my Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, and bless me, my Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name, we pray. Amen. <laughs> We are going to pray now, very quickly, for Pastor Matthew. We are going to ask the Lord a sacred tears, God will answer it. A sacred question, God will answer it. The sacred when, O oh Lord, how, O oh Lord, when, O oh Lord, all of those questions, let answer come forth. God is the talking and merciful God. The scripture says, for we are not an ivory, which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15. We are going to pray right now. No, 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 no. God knows the family of his servant. He knows what is passing through. We are going to pray the God of heaven will offer solution to everything. Let the Lord end to sorrow, an end to pain, an end to agony, an end to secret tears. Lord, preach in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, I am asking my God and my Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Righteous God, everlasting Father, God, I'm asking and praying, oh, Lord. God, that you assist me, also God, I pray. Oh, Pastor Peter, my Father, God, that to help him out, oh, God. In all his life and devil, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He will smile, he will smile, he will smile, he will smile, he will look back and be grateful to God. 
Lord concerning his family life, like, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, have your will, God. We're going to pray for Angie Auntie. I'm sure we know her. Yes, I know her very well. And uh, I still remember we will call and we'll chat and all of that. And uh, we need to pray for her and the daughters. We're going to pray our concern. The Lord will bring to power. All Amen. of the concerns, I mean, is all of the desires of our heart concerning the daughters, concerning our own life. In the name of Jesus, all of those questions, all of those concerns, all of those burdens. The Bible says in, in Psalm 55 and 22, cast thy burdens upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. The Lord will sustain us. The Lord will sustain us. For the sake of that woman, by the mercy of God, the Lord will attend to that soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying? In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 In the name of Jesus name we pray. Amen. Where they were having problem with childbearing, no issue. Child, they have been married. We have so many of them, so many. We are going to pray that it's time. Whatever it is, biologically, whatever it is, emotionally, psychologically, there are different factors. So I don't even suffer from spirit. Some is not anything spiritual, it's just a biological dysfunction or dysfunction. It could not be a disorder. Whatever is the issue, it will be solved. It will be corrected. God will bring a blessing, a Isaac to them. Their Isaac will come to them. Their John the Baptist will come to them. Their Samuel will come to them. If you know anyone, remember them in prayer now. If you know anyone, mention them in the place of prayer and tell the Lord to satisfy them. With his mercy, early. Shall we pray? Amen. We pray. Amen. I'm going to talk to Pastor Pauline, Pastor Mike, Pastor Femi Ojo, Pastor Dako, Pastor Bani, Pastor Isha, Ixian, and all other pastors. The pastor in the U.S., all of those leaders, pastors that connect from the U.S. and other countries of the world. Yes, they all love me. And the thing is that the needs vary. Some are spiritual, some are physical, some are emotional, some are even marital, some are financial, whatever it is. Let me read the scripture now. In Psalm, let's read the scripture. We are reading scripture for all of these our leaders and pastors. And if they are online, they can hear me. I've mentioned your name. Here is a scripture for you very quickly. Here is a scripture for you in Psalm 37. I'm waiting for verse 3. And do go. Trust in the Lord and do go. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Amen. Verse 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and it shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Verse 5. Commit thy way unto the Lord, and trust also in him, and it shall bring it to pass. Exactly. As we commit our way eh, and commit this, uh, our leaders and pastors to God, the Lord will bring their desire to pass. We want to pray that all our pastors, wherever they are, whether they are online now or they are not, 
wherever they are, whatever is their concern, some of their concern may even be their children. They are preaching to other children, and their own children are giving them edict. Their own children are not born again, and they are wandering. Their children are not good example in the church or society or in school, and it's a serious concern in their heart. And they are wondering where am I missing? Whatever is the concern, whatever concern is our pastor. Whatever concern, oh God, spiritual, physical, social, psychological, emotional, let the Lord attend to all. Oh God, attend to all. Oh God, attend to all. Attend to all. Attend to all. Attend to all our pastor. They won't cry secretly, and they will not cry out. They won't cry secretly. They won't go in before God and say, oh Lord, how long shall it be? How long, oh God, will I suffer? How long will I continue like this, struggling financially? How long will I do this and do that? How long will this stop? All of those questions, the Lord will answer. All of those need the Lord will satisfy. Let's talk to God in prayer, please. Let's talk to God in prayer. In, in Jesus', Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Yes, I'll be concluding here. I'll be stopping here. I I'm taking the last prayer point very quickly. We're going to pray right now. An important prayer here. 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 Very important prayer. We're going to talk to God in prayer. We're going to ask the Lord that every of our leaders, the God of heaven will help us. The Lord will assist us and make us heaven ready, rapture ready, anything at all that will stand as an impediment, that will stand as an obstacle, that will stand as a barrier. The Lord will clear it off our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will take it away from us in the precious name of Jesus. The Lord will remove anything that will stand as a manacle, as an obstacle. Let the Lord take it away. Let's talk to God in prayer, please. Jesus name. depend upon Oh dear Father, God help me to be ready for the rapture. Oh In God. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, we thank you very much. We glorify and honor your name. We praise you. We exalt you. We lift your name. We thank you because of whom you are. Hallowed be thy name forever and ever. Be thou forever exalted. Be thou forever praised. Be thou forever worshipped. Be thou forever lifted higher. Be thou forever magnified. Take up the glory, honor, adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. It's over to either pastor. I don't know who is taking. Pastor Shekmif is there, or Pastor, or Pastor Peter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to just quickly read Psalm 13 before I hand over to Pastor Matthew. Psalm 13, please turn your Bible with me. Psalm 13. I want to read verses 1 to 3. Uh, let me read from verse 1 to 4. Psalm 13, verses 1, verse 1 all through to verse 4. He said, how long will thou forget me? I want you to look at it that this prayer, if you really look at the title, if your Bible has the title, you will see that it said, a prayer for help by a troubled soul. He said, how long will thou forget me, O Lord? Forever? This man was asking God, God, are you going to forget me in my situation and in my condition, in my predicament? Looking at what is surrounding me, looking at what I am going through. Remember, David had issue. He had a lot of both internal and external enemies. Saul on one side, one in fact, one of the staunch enemy of David. 
He was a Bible call him a sworn enemy who has made himself, uh, he has made up his mind that as long as he's living, David will not be alive. And not only that, what about the trouble in his family? His own son, Absalom, uh, raped his half-sister. And uh, I mean, uh, 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 sorry, Amnon rather. His own son, Amnon, raped his half-sister. And then Absalom, on the other hand, went as far as uh, dethroning his father, and even death upon death, killing upon killing in the family. There was so much trouble in the life of that man, both internally and externally. That was why he was crying to God. And I know that probably our leaders here, they have one or two things that they are going through, either financially or materially, that they cannot even voice out. And they are in the secret, they are crying. They are saying, God, are you going to abandon me like this? How do I even enjoy the work of God when all my needs are not met? When all my needs are not met, how will I be able to preach and preach the gospel? When people will look and say, uh -uh, you say you say you are preaching to the word of God to us and looking at what is going on all around us. Why don't you first of all set your own case first? before you can say you want to preach to others and influence others in the way of the Lord. And these are the challenges. And that's why this man cried to God. He said, oh Lord, how long will thou forget me? Oh Lord, forever. How long will thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul? Having sorrow, having discouragement, heart is despondent, and it appears as if one has come to a crossroad. What is the way forward? How long shall I take counsel in my soul? Having sorrow in my heart daily, how long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Oh, we want to cry to God. In this verse 3, he cried to God. He said, consider and hear me. I think we should pray that prayer also. Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes, let I sleep the sleep of death. We want to cry to God tonight. Brother, we want to pray for all our pastors on this platform. Satan is challenging their ministry. Satan, the devil, is fighting against their ministry. In fact, he's fighting against the anointing of God upon their life. They want to pray to God and say, God of heaven, O Lord, you that has called us, Lord, arise, O God, on our behalf and begin to intervene in your servant's case. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray tonight? Open your mouth and begin to pray. I don't know what some of us are passing through now. Maybe you have, you have been battling with something in the family life. Our, our pastor that led us, he has really mentioned quite a lot. Family matters, children are wayward, and then a lot of things. Not well, financial problem, death here and there, difficulties on every side, joblessness, and so many other things. We want to pray to God and say, God, oh Lord, except to intervene, what can we do? Can we have it? We won't be able to have the breakthrough. Except to intervene in our situation, oh God, you are the only one that can help us out. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Pray to God of heaven and say, God, please, Lord, we need your help, oh God. Divine intervention from you, oh God. Divine intervention from you, oh God. Divine intervention, oh God. Almighty and arise in the name of Jesus. By your mercy, oh God, I pray. By the power of the Holy Ghost, arise, oh God, arise, oh God. Every one of us, all the all the pastors, you know, as we are gathered here by the grace of God that we are praying, as our faces are different, so also our needs are different. I remember sometimes ago, a sister was crying, and not because she has she doesn't lack money. No, 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 not at all. Money is not even her own problem. Oh. But she has her own business she's doing. But the problem is her husband. And uh, the author was looking here and there, looking for other women out there. 
thereby bringing this woman under, I mean, the woman was being traumatized. The woman was going through a kind of psychological problem that was making her to be weeping every day and every time. Maybe there are cases like that also. And then you also look at the case whereby when a pastor or a leader cannot pay the school fees of the children conveniently, or cannot even pay the house rent, or going through some challenges and all that, and it tends to weaken somebody's mind. We want to pray to God. Oh Lord, all of these problems, oh God, we table them before you. You said, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. We want to pray and tell God and say, God, every finger of the devil in all our family life, in mm. all our area life, in our financial life, and all the finger of the Oh, God, I ask of you, my father. Hey, the hand of Satan will be cut off. The fingers of the devil will be cut off. Let no man trouble us for we bear in our body the mark of Christ. Let no man trouble our pastors. Let no man trouble our leaders. Let no man trouble any of us for we bear in our body the mark of Christ. Oh God, every trouble has arrest. Every trouble has let him be arrested. Holy Ghost arrest, arrest. Holy God is Destroy, destroyer, holy ghost, arrest, arrest, arrest every power, holy father, in the we name are of Jesus, by the authority and by the power of the holy ghost, they will be arrested. Amen. Amen. Before I just hand over to Pastor Matthew, uh, you know, some of you, some of our brethren, they knew when I wedded, as far back as 2003, by the special grace of God. And uh, the brother that um, that was my best man, we were both stuck together in Niger State. Of course, he doesn't have financial challenges at all. I mean, God has really helped him. He's a global com worker, one of the technical edge. And God has really graciously helped him. But do you know, I was so sad when I heard about the death of his wife at the age of 47 mm. and uh, me Kai brought out pain in my heart because i felt Kai, i know the sister very well very fervent very committed very devoted but when it didn't happen i could not i, I couldn't just believe my eyes and uh, just yesterday the woman was buried and I was asking, I just finished calling him a few minutes, few hours ago. I, I said, where are, are you now? He said, he's just in a family friend's house. And uh, I look at it, look at children, look at him. How will he take care of the children? Because the work demand is so demanding. They have to transfer it from one state to another state. There are, you know, some people have challenges. Money is not everything. But beyond money, they have one thing or the other. I just want us to take one minute to pray for that brother. He's also a pastor in deeper life, Pastor Isaac Akijinyo. We want to pray for him that God will comfort him. That's, That's right. That's right. That's right. In the name of Jesus, supernatural comfort, extraordinary comfort, my God shall comfort you. Pastor Isaac, be comforted. Pastor Isaac, be comforted. Pastor Isaac, be comforted. The Lord comforts you. The Holy Ghost comforts you. The consolation of the Spirit come upon you. You will be comforted by the triune deity. In the name of Jesus. We are praying. Amen. Over to Pastor Matthew, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In that mood, and then by the grace of the Lord, is Pastor uh, Omar Rewa. We are going to turn to you today. Uh, whatever you, there's something happened in the time of Herod. And then the mommy, the Herodia, was planning something for the 
uh, the supposed to do. If only Herod didn't know, and he asked the woman, the daughter of the woman, to ask for whatever he wants. She wants, and she asked for the head of John the Baptist. Herod couldn't do anything because he has made the commitment, has made the foul by his own word. If somebody like that, just ordinary woman being, yes, I know we cannot use the uh, the promises of the Lord to hold Almighty God because He is bigger and He knows the end to the beginning. But for His word, He lets us know that we can totally depend upon it because He is the one that said it. And He said, that No no one among them will pass away. I mean, no one, no after that, what we, uh, we, we pass away without coming into past. And then it, it's very simple ask and you shall be given. Seek is a fan, and then knock, the door shall be open. And then if, um, uh, if we can know the reason why we are asking and we can present ourselves before him, I know he answers prayer. And by the power and the blood of Jesus is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. So we are going to present Pastor Omarewa before Almighty God today. And then before then, we will ask him, this is a plain check, empty check. It has been signed. And then the way it was signed is that ask and it shall be given. Seek, you shall find, and knock, the door shall be open. So what do you want us to pray for you today? And we want to hear testimony about it in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Pastor Amen. Omarewa. Amen. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, uh, very quickly, okay, sir. sir. Sir, can you hear me? We are hearing you. Everybody is hearing you, not only me. Okay, I actually, uh, God has been so faithful, and uh, you know, I have a brand, a brand copy set at tutorial. And then I'm also currently the, in my site, I'm building my website. The web, website will be launched in this month of May as we pay for the host, uh, hosting, pay for two years hosting. And then there's an app too that will be uh, my team members are also working on app for me and all of that. And they trying to go global and they, because with the website now, people can get to the website and do a lot of things. And uh, now I'm even started receiving some calls before this time. So I'm trusting God that it will go beyond just uh, one or two, three person calling. It will be different parts of the world and different places. Because I know I haven't. Um, so my prayer is that as the all of this is happening, more lives will be touched, more lives will be transformed. I already have a community of young people now in their hundreds of hundred, not just 100, not just 200, more than 300 on that platform in that community or a community of young people and some few adults there. And so we're trusting God that God will glorify himself and impart more lives all over. Thank you, sir. There's something I want to clear there. Uh, I know you engage in a lot of things that's uh, about the youth, in evangelism, and you engage in work, which is touching life, but indirectly is bringing money in as a uh, as a tutor. So uh, I want to clear the app that I want to be launched. Is it for the school? Or for, for, the for my pay setter. The website is for the pay setter. It's not for you. The pay setter, something oh, is, uh, is, uh, is like now I have a YouTube channel and a lot of subscribers. I, I scrapped the old one and I created a new one for pay setter and people have started subscribing seriously for this month. So videos have already been uploaded on that YouTube channels. So after some time it will be monetized and the website also is for, for a global brand and then also the app. They have so all of this thing is to make sure that you they focus. We instill the culture of reading calculation sciences in these young people, and by so doing, people get to know us all over the world. 
Yeah. Praise the Lord. Uh, so it's for, for, for commercial aspect of it. God will help us in Jesus. That's what I'm knowing. You know, I've been praying that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, that school will grow to, you remember from the beginning, it will grow to university in Jesus' name. Amen. Because it has been encouraging, I've been following, and I pray that Almighty God is going to continue to help you in Jesus' name. Uh, my brother doesn't charge more money, he charge $10,000. Ten thousand, thousand. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Go with you. Praise the Lord. Go with you. Uh, when you are looking big, you plan big. I told, uh, let's, yes, we are online. I totally accept it. I told somebody recently um, that. I read a lot of things about, I'm pretty, pardon me, about Dangote, uh, about his life. Recently, he said something. He said, other people that are working under him, they he have houses house in London. He said he doesn't have house in London because he focused in Nigeria. I learned from him. Recently, he said, the interview, he said, uh, uh, what about uh, his stress? Is there many people under I think that's why you talk about London too, that they rest. But every day, say, he, th- he is thinking about what to do next on his life. And I wish you see him, how gentle he is. Sometimes I think, how does he able to think in that way to have that kind of money? He said, all, all what he's thinking is what is the next. And then I've been watching uh, our brother, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. God is going to enlighten the work of your hand in Jesus' name. Amen. One of the things is that if you don't plant what God wants to bless, if you say God should bless you, God should enlighten your cause, God should do this. If you don't work what God wants to bless, if it has not been publicizing in YouTube, publicizing himself in the, uh, you, you know, uh, Brian, you're so smart. The, somebody will call him from the Belgium today, and then we put it in the Facebook. Now, now, somebody just called him from Belgium now, and the, uh, I'm not going, I'm not spaying you, I'm not spaying you, and the you can too, you can call in this minute, 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 minute. You get, you get, you get to live, you tell me we are there. Why he started the lesson? We don't mm-hmm. know, but it, it told us about the, the, the house. They had the house, house problem, and then he moved to another place. Now he's moving to I- internet. And then now, recently, he told you, I was I was following him very, very well. Somebody called him from the base, maybe from the US or something like that. But I've been, to be sincere, I've been following him. I've been following him. So, and then my plan is that by the power and the blood of Jesus, God is going to expand the future in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I want to talk about the YouTube a little bit. Anybody that want that say they are publicizing in YouTube, let the person uh uh there's something they call premium. You get what I'm saying? Let the yes, person sir. let the person uh apply for premium. Pre, I don't pre, I do in my English is bad. Let the person apply yeah, for you are correct, you are correct, sir. You get what I'm saying? Let him. Yes, apply. premium. But the, the one advertising anything is watching again. YouTube is using all the you know you know YouTube is paying people, and you know yes, how sir. The, very well. Very rich himself. So he's getting his money to pay the workers. Can't you see that if you want to load, if you want to load a, a USB, let me teach you something. If you want to load USB, if the megabyte is too much, it's very much, and the USB cannot contain it, go and load it to YouTube. Then I'll load it to the USB. That's how, how far you will see that YouTube has gone. All this thing costs them money. Not only in some of our, some of us who are very, uh, we are beginners, they are making public, go to the church, Go to the church uh, YouTube. You will see that they are uh, they are uh, they are advertising there. When you go to any Monday Bible study or Sunday Bible study 
immediately you are watching it look at yellow 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 sign immediately you see that it gets to that yellow sign they advertise on church program you get what you get what i'm saying the only yes, thing they do is that they, sometimes they manage the kind of advertising they are making there if it is religious or not especially me, I only, when i'm at my place of work i watch my youtube when they want to advertise that they will bring one man that preach about bible that man may cost you 10 minutes you don't if you don't sleep and skip but immediately i see i see it like that i will click key but if you want to do that when you are watching the program you don't want them to be uh, advertising in your program by the time i am pastor your me get to four thousand four thousand you know all these things are legal yeah, by the time you get to four thousand they will send a letter to you that they want to employ you you get what i'm saying they will send a letter by the time you get to 4,000 people or something like that, I couldn't remember. They will send a letter. You will, you will not know it's a letter of employment. That means if anything happens because they are going to be paid tax on your behalf or something like that, already they have incorporated uh, and they have incorporated you into their system. So they so have letter, 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 they have your, your application, application or something like that. I don't know I how do you do it. But if you don't get to 4,000 subscribers or something like that, they won't give it to you. But for anybody that said, okay, YouTube is advertising in the church program or anything, the person to subscribe as a premium subscriber, they won't, they won't, they won't advertise again. Anything he is watching. So let us know all those systems, and God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Because when I was doing it, I saw it. <sighs> I saw then if somebody doesn't want to want a uh, public uh, advertising in its program, go to church website. They call it webcast or something like that. But uh, uh, Pastor Yomi, is it webcast or when you go to the church, you will see web radio. You will see uh, the deeper light radio. You will see webcast. Click the web webcast. If you click uh, the webcast. webcast <laughs> they don't advertise in church webcast. I don't know why. But the, their webcast will ask you, do you want to go to YouTube or you want to be watching it in the webcast? The reason for the webcast is that it doesn't contain a lot of messages like YouTube. But if you don't want advertising, you can watch it in the church webcast. There's no ad advertising there. So, uh, so I, I, I like to also that we can know and then God is going to help us. I totally accept what Pastor Yomi said. Because immediately they are going to bring a lot of advertisements sometimes, which which even the producer does not plan for. But that's the way they are maintaining the YouTube itself. So God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And then I think that form, because I've done them for so long, in that form, there are some things that they, you will click. That you, if I thought they were advertised, you don't want this kind of advertisement or something like that, which I don't know. But I remember they sent a form to me when I reached 4,000 subscribers, which we feel. So God is going to help us in Jesus. So we now call Amen. upon the name of Pastor Yomi, and by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. And then I want us to, after the meeting, to meet on the WhatsApp uh, on certain things. So go with help us in oh. Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go with God for your name. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will enlarge his soul in Jesus' Amen. name. Let's Amen. open our mouth. Let's pray for him. For some of us that are watching him on the, on the, I follow him very well on, on the Facebook, that God will enlarge him in the name of Jesus Christ. God will establish him in the name of Jesus Christ. Little by little, I remember just about two years ago, how it started, and we have been seeing oh, how he is flying. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, oh, him and God, his colleagues, with those people who have been helping him, the power and the blood of God, God will continue to give him the vision in the name of Jesus Christ. The vision will not die. 
by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the fishermen will not die. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the fishermen will not die. By the power and the blood of Jesus, the fishermen will not die. And let's call upon the name of the Lord. Almighty Father, we enlarge you, 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 we God, we lay his hand upon his children. God, we lay his hand upon small fishes. He is sleeping like this. Almighty God is going to open his eyes. Uh, uh, open his eyes. I see he's sleeping like this. God, God, Almighty God is going to see him. Let him see the vision. Or how to establish, how to enlarge the business in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall he be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By the power and the blood, we are looking at the time. Whereby not all this website, you will learn the secondary school, you will learn the university, you will learn you Amen. will the technical school part of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And by the power that put that dream, you have started it, it will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You that have started it by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You will, this program will not see your end. You will see the end of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So everything for the glorification of the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. So Amen. Be, in Jesus' Amen. name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace. Thank you, sir. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. God and His sweet fellowship the of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Be with us, be now. with us now for okay. everyone. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy follow us all the days of the our day. life. And we shall do in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you. Please let us meet you. What's up? Free from the fear, it says that we might serve you without fear. I'm going to the office. I know the thing I will meet there. Fear. I'm going back to the house. The challenges I'll meet there. The confusion, commotion I will meet there. Fear. I'm going to the church. We're going to worship the Lord. Am I, am I free, free from, from fear, fear going, going to, to church, church? Or am I, I a walk carefully? I'll hide I my blessing, I'll hide I my joy. Because, because even in church, church I, I, fear I fear this, I fear that. that. But what's the what's purpose of the visitation is that he will deliver you out of the hands of our enemies that we might serve him without fear no fear in church no fear at home no fear in your community whatever anybody is planning there is somebody higher than the highest that is planning for you and then it says, and it says in verse 75, it says in goodness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Your time for joy, constant joy, happiness, no fear anywhere, anytime for anything. That time has now come. But looking at first John, John, the purpose of the granted visitation. When you came at first John, chapter 2, reading from verse 28, and now little children, not my little children, it's every one of us, little children, to John the aged, where is the Lord, 96 years of age, at that time one of us, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and 
not be ashamed before him at his coming. The will see this come to visit us is so that he will so prepare us that when he comes, there will be no fear of being let out. In chapter 3, oh, sorry, verse 29, verse 29, if we know that he is righteous, we know, he know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. And that chapter 3, verse 7, in chapter 3, verse 7, the purpose of his granted visitation. Chapter 3, verse 7, little children, let no man deceive you. Deception brings unnecessary self-imposed danger. When people, when they tell you something and they deceive you, they bring a danger in your life. When their actions deceive you, when you are surrounded by liars and deceivers, and you depend upon their word, and you depend upon their actions, it deceives you, and you bring the unnecessary problem on yourself because you run in the direction of the deceiver. They tell you this, this, this. And then you pick up your baggage and you run out of your home. You run out of your ministry. You run out of your calling. Let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Look at verse 8. It was age he that committed sin is of the devil. Give me a good amen. For the devil sinned from the beginning for this purpose. The Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. The visitation that he has granted us is so that the work on the cross at Calvary will destroy all the works of the devil. How oh, am I a Christian for 10 years and all those works of the devil are more prominent than the wonders of the Lord in my life. How am I a Christian for 20 years, 25 years, 50 years, 60 years. And yet, the works of the devil are more prominent. The thoughts of the devil, the work of the devil, the plan of the devil, the, the pressure, pressure of, the of the devil, the, the fear, fear of the of devil, devil is still is more prominent than, than, you know, even, even at the time, time we knew the Lord. The Lord. What's happening there? What's happening we there? must understand that the purpose of Christ coming, coming, coming to the world, coming on the cross, coming in our heart, in my heart. The purpose of God sending Christ to me is so that the fear of the past and the fear of the devil will totally be forgotten in your life in Jesus' name. It says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Look at verse 9. In verse 9, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for he, for the seed, remaineth, abideth in him, and he cannot sin. He, he cannot, cannot sin because, because he is born of God. Look at verse 10. In verse 10, in this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever, whosoever, whatever his title, whatever his position, whatever his calling, Whatever his popularity, whatever he owns, whatever he has, whatever might make him proud, I am this, I am that, whosoever doeth not righteousness, it's not of God. Neither he that loveth not his brother. Give me a good amen. Our, our actions, actions make us know. 
our activities make us know anything we do that lacks love, lacks forgiveness, like we had at yesterday's workers meeting, that we cannot be like God, that sends rain and sunshine upon the just and the unjust. Everything that pulls is a partial thing. I like that. I don't like that. I appreciate that. I don't appreciate that. And we live for the idea of evil, of forgiveness, envy, jealousy, and we have hatred in our heart. It shows whoever we are, we are not the children of God. In this, the children of God are manifest. And the children of the devil, whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. Neither he that loveth, neither he that loveth not his brother. We're coming to number three here. Number three here is the praise for his good visitation. It's praise for his good visitation. In Psalm 106, we read him from verse 1. It says, Praise ye the Lord, who give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. What we're praising, he is good. Good enough to save us, good enough to forgive us, good enough to turn our lives around, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. I thought somebody would say, Amen. Forever has not ended. It was good and merciful at that time. And on and on, and Jesus has come. And on and on, and Jesus has died for us. And on and on, and Jesus rose again. And on and on, is he gone to heaven? He's standing for us there. He's our intercessor there. And forever has not ended. Even till today, he is good and merciful today, tomorrow, for the rest of our lives, the goodness of the Lord will never stop in your life. Because it endured forever. Look at verse 2. In verse 2, who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can enumerate, utter? Describe, least to completion. Who can enumerate or alter the goodness of the Lord? Who can show forth all his praise? We're looking at verse 8. In verse 8, it says, Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake. He saved me. For his, for his name's name sake, sake. He, was he was thinking about, about himself. himself. Salvation, salvation of this man will bring glory to me. The salvation of that woman will bring glory to me. For his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. That's why you came into the kingdom. Through you, he'll make his mighty power to be known in Jesus' name. Look at verse 9. In verse 9, he revealed the Red Sea also, and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths as though the wilderness. Verse 10, in verse 10, he saved them from the hand of him that hated them. Saved them from the hands of the one that hated them. You know, sometimes when you are handled, raw handled, man handled, and he handled you to make you almost despair of life. You say, is this how life is going to continue forever? Is this how precious 
persecution, difficulty. It's going to continue forever. Is this how I am going to be in the hand of the people that would want to squeeze life, joy out of me? No, you will not continue like that. The people that would like to squeeze life, joy, happiness out of you is going to save you out of their hand. He says, he says them from the hand of him that hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. In verse 11, verse 11 says, and the waters covered their enemies, and there was not one of them left. Already, it has happened to the children of Israel. And those children of Israel, they have begun. What is he writing this for us? He's saying, This is what he did for your senior brothers and senior sisters up there yonder. Exactly what he did for them, he will do for you. Because the waters covered their enemies, and there was not, not one of them left. In verse 12, it says, Did he believe? Then they believed in his works, and they sang his praise. You will sing his praise. Look at verse Look at 44. In verse 44, nevertheless, they regarded their affliction. And when he heard their cry, he heard their cry. Uh, what are the people crying there? The people you say. The people, the people you redeemed, we came we into came another predicament. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction, affliction when, when he heard their, their cry. Verse 45, it was 45, and he remembered, he remembered for them his covenant. He will always remember you. And he repented according to the multitude of his mercies. Verse 46, in verse 46, he made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captive. Verse 47, in verse 47, save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to and to triumph in thy praise. Verse 48. In verse 48, it says, Blessed be the Lord God of history from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen. Praise ye the Lord. A good day has come for you. A good, a good time, time a, good a good year, year a, good a good period has come, come for you in Jesus' name. name. Many, Many might, might be the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will save the righteous from them all. Salvation you have got. For the salvation you will have. Full salvation you will have. And, and a favorable, favorable salvation, salvation you will have. And the final salvation you will have in your life, in your family, comprehensive, complete salvation for spirit, soul, and body in every area of your life. The Lord confirm that in your life in Jesus. We're looking at number two now. Number two, we're looking at the one, his warning for wondrous after his faithful great visitation. You see the children of Israel after having the great visitation of the Lord. The story is repeated here in Psalm 100 and see that instead of continuing with the Lord, abiding with the Lord, staying with the Lord, instead of continuing in his great Great visitation. Great visitation. Many, of Many of them diverted here, here diverted here, here, went the other, other way. way. And, God and God is using, using their story, story to warn us. It's warning from wondrous 
hours after his favorable great visitation. We divide it this three parts. Number one, the corrupted way of wanderers in the wilderness. Even in the wilderness, we started all that meandering and wandering away from the truth and from the greatness of God. Number two, post times warning for the wise in his world. In the word of God, the Lord gives us warning from Genesis to Revelation. Warning, warning. Look, you said, I didn't see that in Genesis. Look not behind you. Go straight to the mountain top. Because if you look back, this is what will happen. That's Genesis, that's, that's one. one. Revelation, anyone that, that will take out, take out of this word or add to this word of, word of prophecy, prophecy, the Lord shall add unto him the place there is and will take his name out of the book of life. From, from Genesis, Revelation, warning, warning for the wise in his word. Number three. The concrete weapon of warfare against what is what is now what it is is not just pinching the knees or having something in the ear or hanging something on the neck. The ideas of the world, the pollutions of the world, the practices of the world, the festivals of the world, the, the music of the world, the dancing of the world, and the mindset of the world. Everything is what means. And now we have the concrete weapon of all fear against what means. Look at number one there. Number one is the corrupted way of wonders in the wilderness. We're looking at Psalm 106, verse 13. Psalm 106, verse 13. This is for God, His works. They waited not for his counsel. All those people that received the great miracle in Egypt and the great miracle at the Red Sea and the great miracle of water out of the rock and the great miracle of manna every day, they soon forgot his works. And, and they waited not for his counsel. Impatience overwhelmed them. And they wanted to run and run, and they didn't wait for God says the Lord. Like many people today, they do not wait for what does the Lord say in his word. They do not wait for what is the Spirit saying now. They go into cell.